So, I got out the video recorder, and, not wanting to record over anything important, I played the tape that was in it to be sure. It was a homemade sex tape my parents made. I almost died. Did you ever snoop through your parents' things as a child and absolutely regret what you found to this day? What was it and did they ever find out? I found my letters to Santa hidden in my parents' socks. This made me disappointed. When I was in middle school, my dad had a box at the top of his bedroom closet filled with hardcore porn on VHS. Later, when my folks weren't home, I watched a bunch of it with my friends. It made me very popular. No regrets. Found a letter about a kid my mum gave up for adoption when she was 18. Weird to think my mum had a whole different life before I came along when she was 27. Me and my brother found a stack of about 50 playboys in my dad's closet when I was 13. It was awesome for about a year till he discovered we had been messing with them and got rid of them. Then we were all out of porn again, but it was a very educational year. I found a writing crop in my parents' wardrobe. I was like when the duck did we get a horse. Edit. For everyone saying my dad is hung like a horse, he is. I was unlucky enough to get my mum's dick. Found some old nudes of my mom when I was like 11. I didn't realize it was her at first, man I have never lost a boner faster. My parents had this box of unlabeled VHS tapes all with blank white sleeves in their closet. Finally home alone one day and sneak one into the VCR, and what title pops up? Vagina Town. The bright purple dildo and that's the last time I went in my father's closet. Edit. It also had a hole in it big enough for a finger which creeped me out. We snooped through a friend's parents' room looking for weed and found a butt plug. We assumed it was the mom's, but found out later it was for his dad. A few years later it came up in conversation around his younger brother, and apparently his younger brother and his friends also found it. But they took it out to play with it, and I guess it came in contact with one of his friend's lips. Oh my god, yes. I was 8. Wasn't really snooping through my parents' stuff, but our family photo albums. Particularly with mine and my siblings as babies. First, I got to my brother's. It was so colorful and bright and filled with notes written by my mom. Same with my little sisters. Then I got to mine. It was boring to say the least. Just plain pictures with no notes or stickers or whatsoever. Then I got to the last page. I remember the exact verbatim of what I read in this small piece of blue sticky paper written by my mom. Is there any more I can say? No. Because we really wanted a baby girl. An eight-year-old boy cried that day. I wasn't snooping, but when I was about 14 I was helping mom do laundry like I usually did on Saturdays when I was a kid. I went to put away my dad's shirts and found a Costco-sized box of condoms, it was nearly full. On its own that didn't bother me I knew what sex was and figured my parents did it. The troublesome bit was the following Saturday when I was helping with laundry and saw three condoms in the drawer instead of 24. I mean damn guys it's been a week. Edit. All the suggestions of swinging and orgies have made me think about my parents' sex lives far more often than I like, so thanks. I'm choosing to go with the balloon animal theory. When I was a kid there were no such things as cell phones, and we didn't have magazines so going to the bathroom was pretty boring. One way I used to entertain myself was by playing with a round piece of rubber that sat in the medicine cabinet. I would poke it, stretch it, spin it on my finger. Wasn't until several years later during sex ed that it suddenly dawned on me that I had been playing with my mother's diaphragm, female condom, that whole time. When I was about 15 we moved from one town to another. While moving somehow some photographs fell out of the back of the drawer that my sister, three years older, and I were lifting out of the van. Our hands were full and we both looked at those photographs spread on the sidewalk. Pictures of our mother with a dog leash on her neck and panties with a hole in which her vagine peeked through. Also more hardcore porn pictures of the woman that we call mom. We looked at each other not sure what to do and proceeded to get that drawer inside. When we got back out the pictures had gone. Our mom dad must have picked it up or the neighbor. Anyway no word was ever spoken about it. Even my sis and I never did. Edit. I thank all commenters.
You might have noticed from this memory that my parents were total weirdos. My youth had a lot of WTF moments, and this was just one of them. I left home at my 19th and haven't seen those weird ducks in 6 years, and it's been the best 6 years since. After my dad passed away I found some letters sent to him from his family that dated 40 years ago, requesting him to marry his distant cousin so they can keep the family blood pure. He was 32 and she was 1. Side note. Middle Easterns have this weird thing with marrying underaged girls who also are your distant close cousins. I found other letters from his relatives saying that they are cutting ties from him because he refused to marry and that he is no longer welcomed in the country. They had the power to blacklist him. My dad ran away shortly after the first letter that I mentioned and met my mom who's Bulgarian, who's also two years younger than him, and got married. Honestly I'm just proud of him. I was going through my dad's hockey bag. Found his cup. Thought it was a face mask it wasn't till I saw the horrified look on my parents' face that I realized it's not for your face. Edit 1, a cup is a piece of plastic, vaguely shaped like a penis and testicles would, that fits inside a jockstrap to protect that region from damage. Edit 2, glad to see other people do it as well, it lessens the shame a bit. After my dad passed away, I searched through the browser history on his computer, Tons of porn and websites for ordering black market Viagra. I didn't personally regret finding it, but I know my mom would have, so I deleted the history and never told her. My parents got divorced when my dad was caught cheating on my mom. After the divorce I went to visit my dad-in-law when I was about 13. I decided to snoop through his bin of floppy disks and found a very long story he had typed out during the divorce. In it he describes graphic sexual acts with the new woman. How his life would be easier if my mom was to suddenly drop dead. Specifically that he would fantasize about the police showing up at his door to tell him my mom was killed in a car accident. I also learned how his AOL name that he'd been using for years is actually just an inside joke between him and his now wife about the length of his dick. He still uses that name to this day. He did find out that I saw it and he explained that at the time of the divorce, he was seeing a therapist who told him to write the story. I think it was meant for the therapist to read and gain some insight into what my dad was going through. Unfortunately, yes. My dad's father was a fighter pilot during World War II. Immediately after the war, he was still flying for the Air Force when he crashed his plane into a mountain and died on his way home from a training mission. My dad had a bunch of artifacts from the wreckage, small things that they could bring off the mountain. It took two weeks of searching to find the wreckage and five days of hiking up the mountain to get there, he got the artifacts after his mom passed away, I was 14. A couple of years later, I wanted to show the artifacts to a friend. Went in my dad's closet to find them, but what I found instead was a 12-inch long thick black dildo. I immediately closed the bag it was in and never went looking for the artifacts again. However, a few years later, I was about 20 and dating this guy. My parents were out of town for the weekend, so he was staying over at my house. He thought of himself as a musician and asked if we could record him singing and playing guitar. So, I got out the video recorder and, not wanting to record over anything important, I played the tape that was in it to be sure. It was a homemade sex tape my parents made. I almost died. Thankfully I didn't actually see them doing it, because it was right at the beginning, still fully clothed, making out on their bed. I noped out of that real quick. Never did record him singing. Which is fine cause he sucked. I was fixing my father's computer as a teenager. It was filled with a ton of spyware and viruses. I decided to go through his massive folder of porn to find out what sites he was visiting that were giving him so many problems, the early 2000s were a dangerous time. In there, I found a bunch of nudes and pictures of an old woman, at least in her 60s, engaged in various sex acts with my father. I wondered who it was so I went into his email account with the password I made for him and found out he met a woman on Adult Friend Finder. He was living with her when he was supposed to be traveling for work. I also found out that he had a gun, which is scary since my father was abusive towards me for most of my life. I told my mom because my mom is awesome aff and deserves to know. 
She was happy because she hated him and couldn't leave him because she would be ducked financially. He found out when my mom told him to get out of the house and go back to ducking his grandma. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.